I'm David. I'm from Canada. Can you? Oh, you want me to look at the camera? Hi, I'm David Berman, and I'm from Canada, and I'm excited to be at Venice University today to talk about how designers can help create a better world. Okay. Uh, second question is after your visitation, uh, what is your opinion about Indonesia in terms of your? Well, I think Indonesia has what I see. I've traveled a lot. I've been to over 25 countries, and seen the opportunity in a world where there's never been so much hope but uh, things have never been so fragile as well i see something unique in indonesia because i see that indonesia has one foot in the developing world and one foot in an economy which is growing so quickly with so much innovation and so much pent-up um, entrepreneurship and uh, creativity and fueled by a, a rich artistic tradition so i feel like as indonesian designers uh, we you can see both the diversity of culture and the diversity of economies that other other countries don't see as clearly as you do. And so I think there's a real opportunity here for designers to uh, grab onto this opportunity and do good with it. To not just do good design, but to do good in the world with it. Uh, how to create a creative environment on campuses, in your opinion, best on the spirit of YouTube? Well, at this campus, I understand you have a mandatory course on character building. And this, is a, this, this to me is a really great example of how a university can be, differentiate itself from, from a trade school. Uh, because it takes a full person to be a true professional. You know, being a professional is something you do 24-7. You don't turn on and off your ethics or your principles. And um, to do do good is simply to say, hmm, as a designer, I have opportunities, I have knowledge, I have skills. How can I use them best in the service of humanity, in t terms of the service of spirituality, in terms of service to nation, to the environment? And the way to do that, to me, is to be in alignment with your personal, your internal principles. And so by having this type of course, you're teaching students that to be a graduate of, of Venice University, you need to have someone who's not just good at something, but they're good at something in alignment with what they know is good in their hearts and their minds. Is that what you mean? Yes. Am I answering your question? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, for the last question, what will you do in continuation in the light of what happened, uh, considering that sustainability is crucial in a movement like this? Well, I don't think sustainability is something you you have one course on. I think it's something that becomes part of every course in the school. And so it's an attitude. And indeed, I don't think it's any question that in 10 years we'll look back and it'll just be as natural as using a computer in a design class you design for sustainability. You won't be able to be a designer on Earth if you don't do sustainable design. It just won't be marketable. I'm, we can, can try. Can you tell us about you, sir? Cut! <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you tell us about you, sir, David? Which part? Uh, uh, your... The whole thing? Yes. Or just the first question? The first question. We just lost the first question? Yes. All right, so I got to start <laughs> off again. All right. Hi, I'm David Berman from Canada. I'm uh, visiting Indonesia, and I'm speaking about do good design. How design can make us a better world. Do Good Design was published originally in English, but this is the Indonesian edition, which is the second edition is being published because uh, Binus University's generosity is allowing it to happen. The first edition sold out, but the second edition is being printed with Binus University's backing. Okay. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay. Because the spirit of this message is that it's, it's not just enough to do good design. We need to do good. We need to use our opportunity, our skills, our passion, and use them in service to humanity, to environment, to nation, to society. We must do good in every, every single part. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Oh. That's my last question. Yeah, that's great. Thank, Thank you very much. much. I hope I'll get a copy. Oh, yeah. I'll give you my uh, I'll, card. I'll send it in... Can, can you give me um, I'll give you a person? Yes. Yeah. I was wondering if you can, uh, you can, uh, 
I understand you put it on the web, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, send by email? Yeah, just send me the URL. Or send on Ling YouTube. <laughs> All right, whichever. Okay. I'm just looking for my cards. <laughs> We've been playing with your cat. Everybody's take photo of him. They have a slogan or something like that. A slogan? Uh, TV Vince last, TV. Last request from last, me. Uh, yes. Can you say? Uh, oh, is there something that you get people to say? Yes, for like for okay. our it. Uh, I understand. Yeah, commercial break. So what's the slogan? Uh, don't forget to log on to www.binus.tv. <laughs> www.binus.tv. Yes. You have to TV. introduce yourself. My yes, name my name is. I understand. Yeah, I my name is. Okay. 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 On camera. Here, sir. Oh, you can bring your cat. Of course. <laughs> www.binus.tv. Dot TV. Yes. Hi, this is David Berman and Spice the Cat from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, telling you to not forget to log on to binus.tv. Wait a moment, I forgot the www. Yeah, yes, yes. All right, let's try okay. it again. Okay. okay, take two. Okay. Okay. Hi, this is David Berman and Spice the Cat from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, telling you to log on to www.binnistv. Because we said so. <laughs> you forgot binnist.tv. Uh, binnist.tv. Binnist.tv. Binnist no, you got it wrong. You're going to have to say binnist.tv. <laughs> Didn't I say binnist.tv? No, I said binnist.tv. No, binnist.tv. Take three. Take three. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> Hi, this is David Berman and Spice the Cat from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, telling you to log on to www.binnis.tv because we said so. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Okay.